everybody, I'm Marilyn Bean and I'm back again today and we're going to talk about how to use our crackle medium. It's really simple to use. I've already poured some into a little bowl. It doesn't take very much. And I have this tray that I have already painted in our No Wax Chalk Paint in Onyx. And I'm going to do an image transfer on this later, but I want to have a neat crackly aged look around the edges. So it's going to have a two-tone appearance as well. And what I have chosen to do this with is our No Wax Chalk Paint in Cobblestone. Yeah, And we're going to use Cobblestone as a companion color, and it's going to have black crackle showing through for the aged part when we're finished. So this is really a simple process. And to get started, I have, since we've already painted this, I'm going to move you down so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. And I'm going to put a generous amount of crackle medium on my brush, if you can see that or not. And I'm just going to dab it in some areas. The more crackle that you apply, and the heavier the coat of crackle that you apply, the thicker the crackle action is going to be. So I just wanted to have a little bit here and there on this so that gives us an interesting aged look. So I'm dabbing, careful not to brush it off or smear it around too much, around the edges, a little around the surface. just like that. And now we're going to let it dry for just a minute or two. But I'm going to speed that up a little bit with my blow dryer. So bear with me for the noise. I'm going to do this on cool, low cool, so it doesn't blister the paint. So we're going to give this a little bit of a dry. Just a little bit. There. All right. Now I'm going to let that dry a little bit while I paint the inside of this tray with my cobblestone to give it its aged look. So I'm just going to give it a quick rustic coat. Rustic to me means that you have brush strokes. I love brush strokes. I think it adds character. coverage inside for our rustic look. Alrighty, now, here comes the fun part. The areas that we have applied the crackle medium, and I don't know if you can still see it, but it's a little shiny here. I know we did it all around the outside edges. You can see how it's a little bit shinier. We're going to apply a generous coat of paint over this. We are careful not to drag the bristles of the brush through the crackle medium. As best we can. So go on and finish giving this a coat. Real quick coat. Ooh. 
Oops, I had a few little drippies. I'm going to catch up with my trusty chip brush. I really like chip brushes. They allow you to control the amount of paint that you apply. But once in a while, you'll shed a little bristle or two. Very easy to pick out when it's when the paint's wet. So. See the inside, how I've left it rustic. I've intentionally missed a few spots so the black peeks through. Alright, how many spots have I got to finish with? Alright, looks like I've covered it really well. Now we're going to use the blow dryer a little bit longer and help the crackle action start. So we're going to turn it on low cool. Maybe be a little noisy. So let's see if you can see it. See that great crackle action? Just as quick as it could possibly be, I used the, the blow dryer to help speed up the crackle activity so that it would start reacting so you could take a look. Now I can let it dry. You can see over here. We have some really good crackle action happening right along there. Everywhere that I applied the crackle heavy, we're going to have big cracks. And we're going to have some small cracks along the top. See? Little tiny crackle action. This is going to be fantastically aged with an awesome image transfer using Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paints Image Transfer Cream. And uh, that's going to be a new video, so stay tuned and we'll see how this turns out. I love a little crackle action.